Kelsey, and my dad's the woodworker in our family, obviously not me, and he's supposed to be making a shop tour video for LumberDocs.com, but um, he's fallen asleep watching a woodworking video, as usual, and um, it, it looks like he's watching um, Festool Domino Joiner. No clue what that is, but um, looks cool. So let's wake him up. Huh, as usual. Hey, Dad? Dad? Um, we need to film your... We need to film your shop tour for Lumberjocks. Yeah. Okay, one second. Thanks. Okay, my shop is in the garage. Come on in. Okay, so I share my shop with the family and of course the cars. I know Mark will not approve of that, but this is actually one of my biggest tools. This is how I haul lumber to and from the shop. And um, it's a rainy day in Portland, so it's inside the garage right now. It works real well for me. And why don't you come on back and I'll give you the grand tour. Okay, so the first point on the tour, I wanted to show you a display shop that I'm building for some friends of ours in Central Oregon. It's made out of steamed cherry and built with pocket screws and concealed joinery. I actually posted this on an earlier blog on Lumberjocks. Oh, and by the way, this is a, um, a reversible finishing table that I'm using right now. It's set up uh, for finishing, but it can be flipped over and used for spray painting and spray finish. So this table is basically three quarter inch particle board and a piece of quarter inch uh, pegboard. It's separated by, I don't know if you can see this, but I used about 20 one-inch spools that I got from the uh, craft store. And basically, when I flip this over um, with the pegboards, I can actually insert, I have a whole bunch of these uh, small dowel sticks. I can stick these dowel sticks in and arrange them any different way I want and elevate a piece up off the surface so that when I'm spray painting, um, it's elevated off the surface. So one of the tools I use a lot in the shop is a uh, chop saw. This is a Makita chop saw that I've had for a long, long time. It's set up on a miter saw stand. I only have one of the two arms set up right now. The wood stand I made myself, this is one of my first pocket screw uh, projects. Up here I've got air filtration by a uh, jet uh, uh, air filter. A Craig Foreman, uh, another pocket screw machine that I use for making a lot of pocket screws. A Dremel uh, scroll saw. A few new hand clamps that I just bought. And uh, these are my, or some of my carpentry tools. I think my wife wishes this was all of them, but there's more of them. Um, I think that's it. Follow me. All right, so this is my Rockler uh, router table. It's got a Rockler um, uh, router plate mounted in the center. I think it's made by Jessam, and it has a Porter cable router. I have a small shop vacuum for small stuff, and over here is my dust collector for all of my machines. Behind me, you can see a bunch of shop cabinets. I didn't build these. These were built in for us. I wish I could say they were all filled with tools, they're not. I basically have from this corner over, and that's all of my tools. All right, so this is my uh, table saw, of course the centerpiece of any workshop. It's mounted on a rollaway base. Basically when I'm working in my shop or garage, I um, of course move all the cars out and move all my tools to where the cars are and set up my shop for whatever I'm doing that day. This is a Delta. Um, hybrid left tilt uh, cabinet saw. Over here I have my fan saw. This is a 12 inch uh, delta band saw. It works great. I think someday I'll be looking at upgrading this to a bigger saw because I'm interested in getting into resawing and veneering. And over here is my drill press. I use that a lot. Um, all of these I just move out to wherever I'm going to set up for the day. 
In the back, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a six inch long bed jet joiner. And then if you follow me over here, so basically I have all the cabinets from here forward. Down below here, I've got um, my planer. That's a Delta uh, 13 inch planer, great machine, does an awesome job. I've got some miscellaneous fittings up here. My Craig uh, portable pocket screw machine. I love this guy. This is the first one I got and uh, have built a lot of projects, including the fence that I showed on Lumberjocks. Jigs for my router table. Heavy duty Craig uh, clamp. Um, biscuit joiner, miscellaneous paint. Up here are my painting supplies. In this box here, I've got a Fuji um, HVLP sprayer. I've been doing HVLP spraying for a long time, probably about 20 years. It's an awesome way to spray. Over here, I have basically all my construction tools and then um, air nailer, stapler, jigsaw, more uh, pocket screws. What else do I have in here that I'm not allowed to have? Drill bits, sanders, reciprocating saw. Over here is my Porter Cable um, dovetail jig, which is awesome. I love it. Uh, my plunge router, I've had this probably for 15 or 20 years. This is my FMT uh, jig. Up here I've got my Dremel machine, a small air tank for um, airbrushing and um, hopefully going to set that up for a vacuum press pretty soon for veneering. Miscellaneous paint for the house. Some uh, miscellaneous finishing supplies for various projects. And over here, basically all my glue supplies and um, wax. And then right here, this is uh, the pieces I've cut out for two uh, quilt chests. They are um, probably halfway through construction, should be done within a couple of weeks, and they're going to be taken over to Central Oregon uh, for the quilt show this summer. Then on the back wall, you can see uh, some various miscellaneous hand tools that I have and slowly collecting. I've got a um, DeWalt uh, cordless uh, skill saw um, drill. I've got a full half sheet sander in here. And this is a Metabo um, screwdriver. It looks real good for putting uh, parts on cabinets. Sandpaper, saw blades, a growing collection of router bits. I need to organize those and get them in a good cabinet. I've got clamps in here, miscellaneous hammers, and uh, some more fittings. Down here I have a small pancake uh, air compressor in the back. I've got a um, Framing nailer for doing uh, rough carpentry, miscellaneous air hoses and vacuum hoses. One of several junk drawers, not sure what all is in there. Uh, drill bits for my Craig machines. Miscellaneous stuff in a hacksaw. That's my son's rocket supplies and BB gun supplies. Okay, well thanks for coming into my shop. This is my castle. Over there is my home. I love them both. Thanks for coming in for a visit. Hey Dad, what's the deal with that Festool Domino Joiner video? Does Mom know that you're watching that? Kelsey, we're going to keep that between you and me. <laughs>